Hey, so what's up guys? My name is Rodolph and welcome to another one of my hit film tutorials. So one of my comments, someone asked to if I could do something about muzzle flashes. So I decided, hey, muzzle flashes are awesome. So, so yeah, I played around with it and I came up with some pretty cool stuff. So, so I'm going to teach that to you guys. So first, the key to understand any effect in hit film or any program is to know how it works. So today I'm not going to be talking about putting the effect on, on, on your video, making it come out of the gun. I'm not going to talk to you about that yet. I'm going to save that for later. For, for today, I'm just going to focus on letting you know, guys know all the elements and what it does and pretty much how you can use, use them to get the desired look you're looking for. So, so yeah, let's get started. And as you can see, I already do have the, the muzzle flash here. And as you can see, it's fully 3D. Remember the old days where you had to stretch out your stock footage so it would fit the angle of the gun. So you don't have to do this here because the muzzle flash is fully 3D. So that's a big plus in hit film. So, so yeah, so let's start from scratch and we're gonna, I'm gonna try to replicate the same effect I have here. And yes, so let's go. First, the, the muzzle flash generator is found in 3D, gunfire, and then you just drag the gunfire down here. So let me go to my camera and reset that. So that's how it shows up. You see the gunfire is just one thing like this. And that's a pretty basic muzzle flash, the single muzzle flash. So I'm going to talk about different aspects of it and what they do. So let's click on here and we're going to go to appearance. So first in appearance, we're going to see the textures here. Muzzle flash one, muzzle flash one, muzzle flash four. And that's pretty much the textures it's using to make the full muzzle flash you have here. For example, if I deleted three of them, then you're going to see it's only going to have muzzle flash one right here. And if I did the muzzle flash one, then it has that ugly thing that you probably don't want. So let's go back. And I need to find muzzle flash. If only I could read. Then just that M. All right. Yeah. Muzzle flash one, two. So let's just select all of them. And yeah, so we're back to the same basics. So that's what the texture does. You can choose your textures. And the blend is pretty basic. If you want it to blend over your footage, you'll choose add because it has that nice intensity that, of course, a muzzle flash gonna need. But you also have normal, which is the hard, the particles look, but it looks pretty bland and it's not shining. So Bobby wouldn't use that for a lot of situation. And multiply won't work for black background, but but yeah, so add, let's just leave it as add. And colorize is to, if you want to add color to it, if not, then it's just a white flash. And if you want to add color, then you just click this. And let's say I wanted a nice blue muzzle flash, then I would have a nice blue muzzle flash. And the color variation is if you don't want everything to just be one color, you want it to vary a little bit. For example, if I put this all the way up, we start to see that there are some green, some red, there's some different colors. But we don't want a lot of that stuff, so we just put it at 18, that's fine. Inactive is, it's not active, and it's active. So, and the rate of fire is what's going to control the how, how much it's blanking, how it's blanking. For example, it's at 100%, and it's just one, one solid frame. That's what you would use for a handgun, but let's say you, you had a machine gun or something like that. I couldn't mess with the rate of fire here and you would see that it's actually blanking. And yeah, so, so let's just keep it at a hundred to just have the whole thing be one thing. And the seed, pretty much what the seed does, like it took me a while to understand this, but for the seed, what it will do is It'll still be the same muzzle flash you're using, but it'll make some slight variations to it. And that's pretty much helpful so that all of your muzzle flashes don't look the same. For example, if one guy is shooting a handgun and you have the seed for all of them is at one, then all of the handgun flash is going to look the same. And that's not going to be realistic because let's face it, what are the chances that every flash from a handgun or a machine gun going to look the same? So the seed is just a way to just make it vary a little bit 
so you don't just end up having the same single muzzle flash for everything. And the blur strength is self-explanatory. So, so yeah, we're done with the appearance and let's go to the call flashes. Now you see again active and by this you will see that there's actually two two flashes there. There's the call flash and there's the side side call flare and the side flare. Well flash, whatever, same thing. So so for just this handgun shot, you won't really see the difference, but let's say it's helpful if you're making a machine gun like this would be the side flares and that would be the the call flare. So again we have scale here if you want to make it big. Let's just reset this. And then you have the barrel gap. And that pretty much is the distance from the flare to the barrel of the gun. So if I do this, you'll see it's very far away. And if I do... So we, we're going to have it right here. I'm going to, like I said, we're going to try to do... Replicate this effect I had going on here. So, so we're going to make a machine gun thing pretty much. And then the length of it is the length of the flash. Right here is like one long flash. And let's just, let's leave it, leave it like this. And the length taper, it's, it's pretty much the way I can explain it is what's the bigger area of the flash. For example, if I put it right here, then you'll see the bigger area will be the back. But if I move it here, then you'll see like we have like the a big it gets bigger and then it gets smaller here and now I, I, and I would say you probably want it want the tip to be a little bit bigger for most situations and the radius is the radius of the flash let's just let's leave it let's yeah let's leave it like this and the radius taper pretty much the same thing For example, if I put it up here, you will see that the the back is wide, and then if I decrease it, we'll leave it like this because I do like how you know it's small gets big, gets small again. So that's that's really nice. And the jitter is pretty much how much the flash is gonna jitter and and get all messed up pretty much. So if I put it all the way up, the thing's gonna be all over the place. And we probably wouldn't want that for some most situations, but of course, hey, if it works for you, then hey. And if we put it down, you're gonna see everything gonna be in place and looking all neat. So it's not good to have it all the way down because it just looks a little bit fake. But let's just have it a little bit, yeah. So it's not all perfect, but it's not all messed up either. And the intensity. You know it's pretty dark flash pretty black bright flash so so let's leave it like this so we're done with the call flash and you pretty much understand these you know tr tr try them on your own see what you come up with and then there's the side flares which is these flares you know active they're gone not at anyways so yeah the scale of them is pretty much the same thing but for this we're not gonna want to change the scale like that so let me just uh, reset this so for right here you probably won't be able to see it much but if I switch to a more 3d view you will see that there is five flares on the side and you can increase the number but five is good so let me just go back to five and the barrel gap again is how far they are away from the barrel like this is pretty far and this is pretty close let me put it back where it was and the barrel angle is, yeah, it's pretty much what angle the flashes are directing at. So let me try to show you what I'm saying. Barrel gap, let me up that a little bit. So the barrel angle is pretty much going to be what's the angle they're coming out of the barrel form. So let's say if I put 90 degrees. It's just gonna that would be the barrel and then it just goes 90 degrees up but I do want it yeah around 42 that that'd be good so let me just decrease that again and here's a nice 3d flare and then the length of them as like the same thing you want it 
if you want it long or if you want it short. I think right here is about good. And the length taper, the same thing again, which side do you want like to, to focus on more? And we'll focus on the outside more. And then the radius, that's the radius of them. Now see we already have a, a pretty nice flash here. And let me decrease the length of them a little bit. Alright, and the uh, radius taper, same thing again. And jitter, the jitter is really a lot here, but for this thing, I don't really like a lot of jitter, but you probably will need it for some situations. So for right here, you will see the flash clearly. And jitter is all over the place. So some jitter, but not too much. So right here, right here looks good. And then of course the intensity how intense it gets gets pretty low gets pretty intense so so yeah that's it for this tutorial so now you already you know how the muzzle flash engine works and so more pretty much you'll be able to get pretty much every look you want without having to go to the presets and and so yeah you didn't know that before now you know that and if you do want to use presets to get started the fx one guys already preload the program with some nice presets go to preset 3d effects muzzle flashes and then you will see assault rifles m16s pixels and hey this is my Rodi police muzzle flash which is pretty much this muzzle flash we're using right here so i was gonna put a link to download it but i can't seem to find the preset file so when i find the preset file i just put a link down and you guys can just download it if you wanna use that, but hey, it's pretty crappy. So, so yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day.